Okay, so here we are going to make a custom flesh tone palette with watercolor paints. So I'm going to mix a red and a yellow here together and till I get sort of an orangey color. And this is where I made my first mistake. I should have added a lot more yellow and made it a lot more orangey. I end up having to fuss with the paint a little bit to get it to be the color I want because I didn't add enough yellow right there. Um, and then I add some blue in and that was cerulean blue, which Whatever yellow, red, and blue you use, you're going to get a different flesh tone color. I should have used probably ultramarine blue, but I chose the cerulean blue. I don't know what I was thinking, but <laughs> I end up making it work. And I end up fussing with it back and forth, as you can see, adding yellow, it gets to green, adding red, it gets closer to what I want, um, testing it on a piece of paper, adding some white. Um, and I really want to have a few different shades of flesh tone. So the white is going to make the um, watercolor less transparent. It's going to make it opaque, which, but I'm okay with that because we're shooting for flesh tones here. And honestly, if you just add a lot of water to it, it's going to bring back a little bit of that transparency anyway. Um, so I'm just holding it up against my hand to see if I'm headed in the right direction. Now I'm going to test it on a piece of paper, see if I like it. And if I do, which I think that's not bad, then I can scoop it up into a full pan there. And you never know what shade it's going to be exactly until you get it on a piece of white paper. So if you're going to do this, make sure you've got some hat paper handy. Set that one aside. Now I'm going to add a whole bunch more white to that one and lighten it up even more so that I have a light and a dark in similar shades. So I can lighten up the dark one by adding a lot of water, but I can lighten up the light one even more by doing the same thing. I did decide as I lightened it that it was a little too purple, so you saw me add a little bit of yellow there. I still thought it was a little purple, so I did a little bit more. So I'm just playing and mixing until I get the color I want. There's you know, no exact formula. You just have to get out your paints and mix them. And the nice thing about doing this is you can mix a full pan or two of these paints and let them dry out. These are watercolors, so it's okay if they dry out because to reconstitute them, you're just gonna spray it with water and it, they'll be fine. It's not like when you do this with acrylic paint and then you have to make sure you store it in an airtight container or use it you know, fairly quickly because um, it's going to dry out. Uh, if I'm going to spend all this time um, mixing flesh tone paint, then I prefer to do it with watercolor um, because I know that I'm not, it's not going to get wasted. So I decided I like that, so I'm going to fill another pan. And set that one aside and now I'm going to mix the rest of that that's on the plate and try to get a couple more flesh tone colors in slightly different shades something that's yellower than the first batch because I would like to be able to have a variety of flesh tone colors when I'm playing with faces so actually I'm going to take a shortcut a cheat and I'm going to add some brown I'm pretty sure that's raw uh, raw umber and I'm going to so I'm going to add some brown to it which is really going to warm it up a lot and this is the color I end up with, which I really like. You can see on the swatch card there that it's a lot warmer than the first batch. And so I'm going to fill up another full pan with this new dark color. And then as you'll see in just a minute, I add some white to it to make the light color. Trying not to waste anything and use what I have. To create a custom flesh tone palette, I also do add in um, some more empty pans into the palette and to the right of me near my water bottle you see the palette 
it is an empty Prima palette. I took my Prima paints out and put them into something else, um, all three sets together. Um, and I saved these palettes and I'm gonna make a custom flesh tone palette out of this particular one. And in it are gonna be my four full pans of watercolor paint that I've just mixed. I'm also gonna add in some a pan of white, two different shades of red. I think phthalo, crimson, permanent red, and Hansa yellow. And then also Payne's gray which is a nice dark blue black, which is gonna be great for this. So here I'm going to put my pans in. And then I'm gonna fill the empty spaces in with, there we go, with more empty pans. I'm gonna put some more white in that one. And I'm using a variety of paints, Royal, uh, Van Gogh, Grumbacher. I'm using what I have. I do like Daniel Smith paints, but I'm using what I have. I decide on that last half pan to pull that out and to put in a full pan because I want to have a full pan of Payne's Gray. So there's the Thalo Crimson, which is more of a purpley red. And then I'm going to, I'm thinking, yeah, <laughs> like what am I going to do? Um, the mess is making me crazy. There's the Payne's Gray. That I knew I wanted. And there, I decide I'm going to use that one, and I'm pretty sure that's permanent red. And then Hansa Yellow. And these are all Van Gogh and Grumbacher paints down here on the bottom. The Thalo Crimson is a Grumbacher. The other three are Van Gogh paints. Sometimes my lids get painted shut and I can't get them open, so I have to have the pliers handy. So there you go. There is our custom flesh tone palette. I will link the Watercolor Wednesday live broadcast in the description below in which I play with this palette and create a face. That was a lot of fun. Don't forget when you create any palette to make yourself a color key that you can keep in said palette so that you have a um, example of what those colors are going to look at, uh, like on white paper. Um, you should do that with any palette that you either create or buy. And um, I'm not going to waste that paint that's on the plate on the plate to my right. I do take um, my palette knife and some water and I scrape all those little bits of paint off and they ended up in another empty full pan and they went out into one of the mystery boxes that I just recently sold. Um, so somebody got some flesh tone paint, custom flesh tone paint. So there you go. On the color key I made sure to put the brands on there on the ones that I didn't custom mix and have some fun with this have a great day do something nice for yourself maybe make a flesh tone palette and uh have do some experimenting and have some fun and see what you come up with don't be afraid to try mixing your own paint it's a lot of fun what's the worst that could happen all right that's it for now have a great day everybody